One of the coolest tools in my arsenal is what they call OBS or Open Broadcaster Software, and it's completely free. I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks on how I use it every day with customers. So I have four cameras connected to my laptop and then I have three monitors. I create a scene for all of those. This is not a deep dive into OBS. To create a scene, just search on YouTube. There'll be a thousand videos on how to do it. I'm just gonna show you what I do. So all my scenes are on the left side. You can see the four different cameras, the, the Canon EOS RP, the Brio, the iPhone, and then the laptop camera. I can actually click on each one of these and change the view automatically. Watch this, Brio, iPhone right here. And then finally, my laptop camera. I then have three of the monitors connected. Each one of those is a source as well. For example, here's my laptop screen right here. Here's my work screen, my 34 inch monitor that I work on. And then here's my other display on the far left corner. So every scene has a video source and a microphone source and an audio source. Again, search on YouTube. You can figure out how to do it from there. I'm not going to dive deep into it today. I also have my stream deck connected to all the scenes I just showed you. So at the touch of a button, I can just click one of those and I'm good to go. One of the things I use most often is I create a virtual camera in OBS and then I use it during my Zoom meetings. Watch this. So on the far right hand side, just hit start virtual camera. So once I set up my Zoom meeting, I just go to choose cameras and you'll see a virtual camera from OBS that you can choose from. Watch this, the camera, OBS virtual camera. Now you're asking Patrick, why would I do that? Why would I just pick the regular camera? I'm gonna show you next. So in OBS, you can actually add text and graphics to an overlay on your scene and then display them during your virtual camera. So watch this, I'm gonna add a Zoom icon and then show you how I can put that in a Zoom meeting. So right here, I added a JPEG file. It's called Zoom. It's the corresponding icon. So again, I'm not gonna show you how to do it. Just search on YouTube for how to add a graphic to an OBS scene and you'll figure it out. But just know I've already added it. And now I'm gonna make it appear. You can see this little eye, it's crossed out. Let's make it appear. So now you can see in my Zoom meeting with my OBS virtual camera, I've actually added the Zoom logo to the meeting itself. Think about how you could brand your own company or slogan or logo. You can just do it right here in the corner and it's right there in the middle of your camera all free. And what if you needed to show an object during a meeting? You could actually use your iPhone camera and show different objects as a virtual camera inside of Zoom. So those are some really simple tricks that I use for OBS. You could think of the possibilities in your workflow. Think about during the middle of a presentation, instead of sharing your screen, you could just change the OBS camera virtually with your stream deck. You can go from one to three to five to six screens, it doesn't really matter. You could really be more efficient during your Zoom meetings using OBS. Again, it's free. So I hope you like videos like that. Just some cool tips and tricks on how to use OBS and free software tools inside of your Zoom meeting. I'm Patrick Kelly, the Tattooed Nerd. Make sure to follow me on LinkedIn or better yet, subscribe to my YouTube channel.